in the last section we were solving differential equations using the concept of exact equations and in cases where the differential equation is not exact we discussed the concept of integrating factor which we can use to convert the given differential equation into an exact equations we also discussed various rules to find the integrating factor rule 1 was by inspection a uh, rule 2 was special case where the differential equation is a homogeneous equation and rule 3 was a case where the differential equation was in the form f1 of xy into y dx plus f2 of xy into x dy equal to 0 so now in this video we will be discussing two new rules rule 4 and rule 5 so i'll just read the rules first and then explain if one rule 4 says if 1 by n into do m by do y minus do n by do x is a function of x alone say f of x then e raised to integral f of x dx is an integrating factor of m dx plus n dy equal to 0 now rule 5 says if 1 by m into do n by do x minus do m by do y is a function of y alone say f of y then in e raised to integral f of y dy is an integrating factor of m dx plus n dy equal to 0 so these are the two new rules so i will just um explain uh, so our given equation is this m dx plus n dy so uh, when we check do m by do y equal to do n by do x which is the necessary and sufficient condition for such differential equation to be exact we will see uh, in cases where this is not equal uh, we can now check so so we have already found out do m by do y and do n by do x now we will take the difference of these two and then we'll see if dividing that difference with n gives a function of x alone so if if it gives if we can see that it is a function of x alone when when divided with n it clearly gives a function of x alone then we can apply rule 4 our integrating factor will be e raised to integral f of x d, dx whereas if if we subtract these two and divide it with m instead and if we are getting a function of y alone then we can say our integrating factor is e raised to integral f of y dy so th here there is a change in sign do it is do n by do x minus do m by do y so even if we take do m by do y minus do n by do x by m if it is a function of y al y alone then do n by do x minus do m by do y will be also by m will be also a function of y alone so that that doesn't matter much but we take the difference we find first so the uh, rules to solve the question will be we first identify our m and n then find do m by do y and do n by do x and check whether those two are equal if those two are equal then the given differential equation is exact equation cos this this is the necessary and sufficient condition so if they are not equal then we will take the difference and see whether dividing that difference with n will give a function of x alone first case if that doesn't if dividing it with n does not give a function of x alone then we will check whether the difference divided with m gives a function of y alone if the, if if it is a function of y alone then we have second case which is rule when we will apply rule 5 so in first case rule 4 when we apply rule 4 our integrating factor will be e raised to uh, integral f dx what is this fx it is that function of x alone when we divided with uh, when we divide this difference with n alone when we we get a function of x that function um, is the f of x so e raised to integral f of x dx and if it is a function of y when it is a function of y alone then we will have integrating factor as e raised to integral f of y dy we will solve problems and then we, if there is any confusion when we will solve problems then it will be more clear so this is rule 4 and rule 5 we will be solving problems based on both these rules um, then we will take up the next section thank you